in a family life in a family setup there are so many interactions that an individual goes through uh, very important interactions all of them for example interaction with one's spouse uh, with one's child with one, with one's parents so um in your experience what is the most common thing to remember so that we can make these interactions more loving more open and therefore more effective so um could you please elaborate on some of your experiences uh, and the challenges that were faced by uh, families especially when it came to inter interactions for example uh, interactions with mother in law interactions with husband interactions with children and could you share more of your uh, experiences with us so thanks valerie it's quite a few years i would say almost 35 to 40 years that i have been doing Uh, this kind of work more as a hobby or as part of my lifestyle and living this is merely at present at least i am addressing certain challenges in family life one of the things that comes immediately to my mind was right in the early days where a couple came to me with their child and told me brother can you help the son of mine he needs counseling i said he needs counseling how old is he he says he's 6 years i said why would a 6 year old child need counseling no brother he gives us a lot of trouble he has been running away twice he has run away from the house we have to inform the police get him back so i said is that so okay i'll talk to him i said you'll just sit out i'll speak to him so i called the boy in and as i was talking to him and was trying to find out what could be behind this i saw his hand and on his hand there were three large scars i said hello young man what's on your hand so he says mummy burned me with an electric iron i said wow is why would she do that he says i was not studying and i was not getting my lessons done so she was ironing clothes and she burned my hands with that so i thought that was enough information for me i sent the boy out and i called the husband and wife or the parents of the child in and i asked them what's this all about children don't run away from home children don't grow up evil or bad or or nasty tell me what is happening between the two of you and you can start right from the beginning how did you all get married and so they told me a very interesting story they were both musicians one was a crooner the other one was a the keyboard and they were in some five star hotel playing there and after a few months they fell in love they got married they had a year or two of a great relationship and then finally when she became expectant and she was going to have a child her husband told her i think now you will have to stay home you'll have to give up the job and and that the woman resented terribly but when the child was born her husband was very clear that she should stay home and take care of the child now it so happened as the child began to grow each time the child did not listen to her she would always tell him because of you i had to stop my career because of you i had to give up all the joys of happy living and everything you're a damn nuisance in my life tell me what do you say about this the story speaks for itself it's a true story it happened there and i had to help the two parents to understand that the way they deal with each other the way they deal with life is how the child will grow up to be a couple of days ago i was in a family and again there seemed to be some problem the child was just 2 years old the husband was working the wife had been working and again had stayed home because of the child and there in the conversation with them just in passing the husband said that she was very reluctant to leave her job and only because i forced her to leave actually he says i did not even force her i gave her an option i said either you stay home or i stay home but someone has to look after the child and we cannot leave the child all by herself and at that moment is when i thought of this earlier incident of mine and i said wow here it is repeating itself again and i say repeating itself why because i found that two year old child 
very precocious. She was all introverted, all to herself. And I said, why is this girl like this? Because he's, then the man said, I go to work every day. The child is the whole day with no one else but with the mother. And so the child just clings on to the mother. Moment the mother puts the child down. And then the husband was often grumbling at his wife saying, the whole day you are with that baby. You are doing nothing in the house. You don't wash, you don't clean, you don't cook, you don't keep the house in order. And her answer is, yes, if you want me to take care of the child, how do you expect me to do the housework? And so I'm seeing how these small incidents, huh? but mainly it is the resentment that we have. We have to deal with our resentment. We have to deal with past memories. In this case, it is even more severe because I noticed that the husband was often shouting both at the wife and the child. And I said, my dear friend, you can say exactly the same things in a more modulated tone, in a more gentle tone, in a more loving tone, and it will have a far more positive effect. And his answer was very cute. He simply said, well, the household in which I grew up, I never learned to speak gently. We all learned to shout at one another. So there it goes again. What is your history? Where were you born? In what kind of a family you were born? It's not where and how you were born as what have you done with your history? Have you faced it? Have you healed it? Have you loved it? And gently let it go. Gently let it go. These are things that need to be looked into to have a happy family life. It is not children who are bad. The children are beautiful beings in our life, but they are a reflection of our thinking, of our way of doing things. And if we have not dealt with our issues, the children, it, those issues will grow in the children once again. Now, to take the two cases, the first case, what would be an answer for that? The answer for that is first to understand, and actually in both the cases, is to understand that the child is not the problem. What you are seeing in the child is a reflection of your own behavior. What you are seeing in the experience of the child is the way you have treated it. So the obvious answer for the improvement of the child and your family life is to look at yourselves. The mirror in this case would be each other. Can you all sit and talk with each other? Can you all ask each other, what is it that you do not like in me? What is it that I do not like in you? How should we heal this? How should we? Can we accept one another's inadequacies? Can we forgive one another? But most of all, can I forgive myself and my past? So if this couple would look and really experience that pain of, you know, the woman having to leave her job and she would accept it and say yes but for the love of my child I am doing it I am not being forced by my husband uh, and the child does not become a nuisance value unfortunately today children are becoming a nuisance value the same thing would be in the second couple when they began I warned them I said if you all go the way you are going you are soon going to be facing the wall and the child is going to be the one who is going to suffer so if they want the child to grow up wholesomely, they have to resolve their own issues. And resolving issues without going to into professionalism or going to see psychiatrists or counsellors is to sit with each other. To sit with each other, talk, share, as you once did before you got married. Before you got married, you all were really friends. Now you are married, a married couple, but you are not friends. So learn to be friends once again fall in love once again, share with one another, accept each other, hug each other and kiss each other and share that love with your child. To make that child not only a biological representation of you but also your emotional representation of you. I hope I have helped you to understand something in your family life. Thank you and God bless you.